All right, hello everyone. Hello, how's everyone doing? I've got um, Lily joining me here soon. Just waiting for her to join. She's gonna help me um, kick it off. All right, let me see how I... Hello. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. I just want to kind of tell everyone a little bit about St. Jude. Um, so I've been a youth ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital um, for about three years now. I started Team Young Hollywood back in 2020, right before COVID. Um, oh, since I started Team Young Hollywood, we've raised over $50,000 for St. Jude. Um, and this year we are hosting um, the Team Young Hollywood for the Walk Run again. Um, the Walk Run is an annual St. Jude event to help raise money. And Team Young Hollywood is um, basically my team that I have created to help raise money for St. Jude. Over the last year, I have played um, the character of Ella in the new Apple TV Plus show, Life by Ella, which is about a girl who's in remission for cancer. And I'm incredibly grateful that I was able to tell that story and um, use my work with St. Jude to help me, to really help me understand that story and tell it. Um, yeah. so just a few fun facts about St. Jude is that they're the first and only pediatric cancer center um, to be designated a comprehensive cancer center by the National Cancer Inst Institute, which is absolutely amazing. Ever since they opened their doors, the childhood cancer survival rate has gone from, from 20% to 80%, which is just an incredible difference. And the amazing things that St. Jude has done is just so amazing to me. Um, and then my one of my favorite things about St. Jude is that all of the families and children treated at St. Jude never receive a bill for anything, for treatment, for housing, um, for transportation, for food. It's all covered by St. Jude because St. Jude really believes that the only thing that the families and these kids should have to worry about is making sure that their kid is happy and, and kind of just thriving in this environment, um, even though it's a really a really tough thing for these kids and for this for these families to go through. So um, that's yeah. been my little spiel about St. Jude. If you guys are able to donate, there's a donation button right here. So if you guys donate anything, you're able to donate five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever it is, is incredibly helpful to all of the families and kids at St. Jude. So um, just whatever you're able to donate and. I know that if you're out of the if you're outside of the United States, Instagram won't let you donate here. So another place that you can donate is there's a link in my bio, um, and you can donate there. So. Yeah, you guys can go click on the link and look at the page. And as you said, one dollar, five dollars, anything helps. So yeah, everything helps. So and thank you so much, Jacob, for doing this. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Awesome. So I'll let you get on with your live and, um, and you know, guess your friends and stuff. So thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. And a reminder to everyone before he gets started, um, just hit that donate button if you can. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Fun. All right, so joining me, I've got Brady Hepner and Will. Um, let me see. Bra yeah, Brady is here. Let me just see. I can add him. Hold on. All right, I think he's joined. Brady, what's up? Hello, everybody. What's up, Jacob? Much. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Uh, not bad at all. Sweet. I'm waiting for, I'm not sure if Will's here. No, that's all good. If you want to get started before he gets in, that's perfectly fine. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I hope everyone is doing uh, doing well. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. First off, I want to say thank you, Jacob, for uh, letting me be a part of this. Uh, yeah. Excited. Um, you know, I'm honored to, uh, you know, bring awareness to this, uh, to uh, St. Jude's. I know maybe a lot of people know. i uh, pretty sure everyone has seen a lot of their uh, commercials and thing. But uh, I don't know. A little bit about St. Jude come from a little history lesson. Um, it was started by a uh, Danny Thomas in 1960 in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, he had a goal to um, 
take care of a lot of uh, catastrophic uh, diseases uh, for little kids. Um, and he also wanted the goal to be to where the families who had the kids in the hospital didn't have to pay for any of that. So I can get behind that uh, very easily. I think it's a great cause. Uh, I know a lot of people that uh, have been very close to me that I've had to go through cancer. It's an awful thing. It's a terrible thing. And I have a company like St. Jude come out and say, hey, we're going to help you. We're going to make sure that you can be all better and you don't have to pay for anything, I think is I think is fantastic. Um, it's next to a, a miracle. Um, so it's definitely something that uh, that uh, I uh, feel for very strongly. So everyone, um, I know I'm about to send my donation in later tonight. Um, if, you, if you can donate even $5, $1, any amount would help. It'd be great if you can't donate because under uh, I understand not everyone is in a position to where they can. Share this information, share the link uh, with anybody that you know um, to see if they can donate. And I would be very appreciative. Um, and yeah, thank you guys very much. Thanks for that history, Brady. It's good. Did my research, man. What can I say? All right. Um, but yeah. Um, He's... There he is. Hey guys. What's going on? You. Good. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. I'm Brady. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Brady. How's everyone doing? Doing pretty good, man. Pretty good. 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 Yeah. I did. Yeah, so let's start here. Um, so we did the, we put on our story, like, questions you guys um, had for us. And a lot of it uh, was, you know, about how you guys can donate and um, what, you know, what you, what you can do to help us raise money. And if you click on the link in my bio on Instagram, there is uh, the St. Jude page that I've made and also – Right down below, you can hit the donate button, and anything like we said counts dollar, five dollars. So, um, we'd really appreciate it. So, let's get started with some questions. Um, yeah. guys, yeah. um, uh, here I'll pull up the little questions box. All right, you guys want to start, or maybe for the big I know you guys already covered a good bit of it, but uh. Any donation counts. It doesn't matter how small or how big it is. Um, just even a dollar is really makes a big difference for these families. And um, if it, it really makes a difference. So I think that if you guys are in the position to be able to make a small donation, that would be great. If not, no worries. Um, but yeah. yeah, we just we, we really want to spread the cause because it's it's really sad to see what a lot of these kids are going through. Yeah, hundred percent. Um. So now let's now let's get into some questions. Yeah. One that a lot of people were asking was how did we all get into acting? So um, I'll start off. Um, the way when I got into acting was when I saw the Broadway show School of Rock, and at the time I already started playing music, drums and guitar. And um, so after I saw the musical, I was like, oh my god, I want to do this. So I ended up auditioning, and uh, really that's how I got into it. And then you know, agent, and then started doing film and TV and now it's been a dream. It's been awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. I love going to all those Broadway plays when I was little They're They're always such a blast to watch. You want to go ahead, Brady? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, my story is pretty short. Um, as a kid, uh, I've always wanted to be an entertainer. I uh, really wasn't sure where that would fit in with a uh, professional job growing up, but, uh, you know, moments like um, Halloween were also, uh, you know, very, uh, they were days that I looked forward to a lot because it was a, a time where I got to, you know, dress up, be something that I wasn't, go out and, you know, have fun. It was, uh, you know, a couple of friends and I, we would dress up, run around, be complete idiots. It was great. Loved it. We still do it. It's fantastic. Um, so I think around Stranger Things season one or two came out and I, that was like one of the first times where I, you know, it clicked in my mind that oh, kids my age are doing this. That seems fun. Uh, I think I would be really cool to, you know, uh, do what I do on Halloween, but for a job being, especially when it's able to uh, tell somebody's story, uh, whether it's, um, you know, fiction or nonfiction. So I uh, started with the studio six years ago. Um, I did it as a hobby at first because, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to be good or bad. Uh, then slowly over the years, it just became more and more serious until here we are today. 
Sweet. That's so cool. Yeah, similar similar story for me. I kind of, since I was little, like seven or eight, I kind of always expressed an interest into acting. Um, I The movie that stood out in particular to me was when I first watched Teen Beach movie, which was like a Disney yeah. movie. And um, after I watched it, I like fell in love with the process of like creating a movie and things like that. And um, I asked my mom and I was just so interested and I really wanted to learn more about acting and, and all of these things. So my mom was, my mom let me put, my mom let me go to an acting class, which I was super grateful for. And I really developed an interest then. And I always just wanted to feel like um, I could like help kind of tell a story and things like that. Because at that Teen Beach movie premiere, Everybody stood up who worked on the movie at the end. And I, I remember just thinking how I wanted to be one of those people so badly. Yeah. So and, guys- and it really, it just kind of started from there and did a lot of acting classes, lots of hard work. Yeah. Luck- luckily got an agent and then was was really happy from there. 100%. And a lot of people were wondering, um, Will, like, what was it like being on a Disney show filming for four years, like bunked? That was a question. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's crazy. I will say it's it was one of my favorite experiences in my life. I mean, that's a majority of my life. That's more than a, a quarter of it from the beginning. Yeah. So, it, it it was it was just such an incredible experience, and I was so lucky to be able to work with such an incredible cast. Everyone at Disney is so sweet, and it it was really a really great working environment, and it just strengthened my love for acting even more working on it and i made close friends and i still keep up with them every day 100 percent. and for you guys the black phone just came out crazy crazy good movie super big how how is it like working on that i mean um, that movie it was awesome i said yeah I'd say, i would just say you know all the kids like a horror movie with all these kids on it really just like i don't know i feel like we haven't seen something like this so it, it was super cool and we all like we all had such a great bond. We all had so much fun on set. So, yeah, I think all just all these kids working on a horror movie together was just so much fun. What about you, Brady? Um, this is uh, this is my um, point of view from it. Um, I think since it was really all our first movies, except for you know mainly the adults like uh, Ethan, Roger, all those guys, um, I couldn't really understand the. Uh, you know, the, uh, the full picture of what was going on, you know, we auditioned for it. Yeah. You know, show up, you know, uh, act for the eight hours that we could, you know, cause we did small projects. So we were like, oh, okay, it's just going to be this, this, and this. We got some following up to the movie. I think I was at like 1500 right before the premiere happened. And then after I saw the final prod uh, product with everybody and we got to, uh, go on the carpet and everything. That's when that's when my uh, state of mind changed to, you know, holy crap, this is going to explode. And so, I mean, now we here we are with, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of uh, fans that uh, I'm super grateful for. Um, you know, they are some of the best uh, people in the world that uh, support me every day. Very thankful for you guys. Thank you guys for joining. But uh, yeah, for me, I would say uh, I think I pretty much underestimated how everything was going to turn out and just seeing the effect of it on everybody is pretty surreal. Yeah. hundred percent. And Will in the tall grass, which was a Stephen King film. So how was that? How was that working with like, you know, Stephen King and all those people? Yeah, it was, um, it was definitely crazy. It was, it seemed like a little bit of a different experience as you guys. Cause you got to kind of like be scary in front of like all of your, all of a bunch of kids, your age which sounds like so much fun, but I was surrounded by a bunch of adults and people who had been doing this for such a long time. So nerves were obviously high. It was, um, I, I'd only been acting for like four years beforehand, so I was still pretty fresh. Um, but it was so much fun. Being behind the scenes of a horror film is just, it's the coolest thing ever because now every time you watch like a horror movie, like any big horror movie, like Sinister or It, you kind of get to, see these little tips and tricks that they use to like either make the movie scarier or like to make it seem more realistic like it, it's crazy it, it's it really it's something that i can't even bring to words it's it's so cool and that project was so much fun everybody's always great 
people have been super, super nice. And the fans, again, to kind of touch on what Brady mentioned, the fans are just incredible. Um, everybody is so nice and just so, so sweet. And um, it's just a really great support group for, for all these people who genuinely just have a big interest in movies and horror movies as well. And it's, it's really cool to be able to say that I'm a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, the horror genre is fun. I mean, it's like crazy what goes behind it to the final product. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so for people who are like just joining, I guess, um, we are raising money for St. Jude. And St. Jude has helped push survival rate for childhood cancer from less than 20% when they opened the doors um, to today, which is over 80%. And families who are with St. Jude have not had to pay a single bill. So thanks to all you guys donating. Um, we really appreciate it. And again, $1, $5, anything is greatly appreciated. So um, feel free to below. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's check out some more questions. Yeah. yeah. So Q&A. Holy crap. We've already hit 300. That is wild. That's so impressive. Thank you so much to everybody done donations because that's crazy that's the difference what's going on um i'm seeing a lot of um pick a period in your time uh, of your life what are or who are some actors that have inspired you whether to be into the business or currently you know a couple years back whatever for me um uh, i would say um Leonardo DiCaprio is the guy that got me. I know it's such a simple answer, uh, you know, because he's the best in my opinion. But, um, you know, researching him and trying to, uh, you know, understand his, um, you know, the way he does things in movies to apply it to stuff that I do, I think is uh, one of my favorite parts of the job is uh, researching and figure out new um, – methods and new material to learn so uh dicaprio takes the cake for me um other than him um i am a big fan of i like bill skarsgård a lot um i know he hasn't been getting you know that much attention lately i know he just got in the uh new barbarian movie which i saw which he killed but i don't know he's got i don't know he is just for me for like the horror type and that just you know intimidating scary look I think he uh, takes it uh, there. Oscar Isaac, phenomenal actor. Again, Rami Malek, Denzel, all those guys. Those are huge inspirations for me. So that's all I got. Nice. What about you? Um, I'd say, you know, for me, people who inspire me are like, uh, like, you know, people like Adam Sandler, Mark Wahlberg, who have their own style of like acting and like their own like, you know, like, you see a Mark Wahlberg movie, and like, oh, this part is for Mark Wahlberg. Like, he plays his roles, like, you know, pretty much the same. And, like, movies are, like, they're, like, meant for him almost. Same with Adam Sandler, how he has his own, like, style and his own production company. So that's something that, you know, they definitely inspire me. You know, The Raw, Kevin Hart, all of them. People who have, like, their own, like, I don't know, like, sort of style of movie. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Something that, you know, would be a dream for me. That's super cool. Yeah, I feel like for me, Cillian Murphy is definitely up there. I feel like his style of acting kind of really resonates with, with my with my aspects that I like, and I think that I'm, I'm I'm best at. And I think that it's it's really cool to see projects like um, Peaky Blinders, where it's just a very, like it, it's toned down, but there's so much emotion behind the eyes, but you don't necessarily see it from the get go. So I think that like acting like that and it is just so cool but then also there's people on the other end of the spectrum like Leonardo DiCaprio that you mentioned that are just so so good at like uh showing what they're feeling and and turning their the the person that they're playing into life and it's so so cool to me yes 100 percent um what's everybody's favorite horror movies because I feel like we're on, we're on the topic of horror yeah um off the top of my head, I did like the um, Happy Death Day ones. Like I thought, I thought that was really interesting. Like the you die, you relive the you relive the same moment. That was cool. Uh, what else was good? 
you know, I gotta still watch the Hall the the Halloween Kills movies. I have not like because I know they're making the new one. I gotta watch number one. I've only watched like half. Ooh. Yeah, guys, about to say good luck. There, there. I think there's ten now. I think there's ten of them. Jeez, there is quite a lot of Halloween movies. I love them though. The originals are the best in my my personal opinion. Mm. You beat it, but dude, Halloween, great movie. Yeah, I feel like for me, the movie. That- scared me the most is Sinister. Oh. Sinister. It was a little bit less scary, but the first Sinister, oh my gosh. Yeah. Me up at night. That is like the scariest movie I've ever watched ever. But a little basic answer is it as well. I feel like the like the imagery is just so cool. So, so cool. But again, I feel like it is a lot of people's favorite. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, that's fine. And I mean, the reason it's, you know, people's favorite is because, uh, you know, how well of a job it did. Um, for me, I am a, I'm a pretty big classic horror guy. So, um, you know, the uh, very first uh, Dracula is always a classic, even though sometimes, you know, it's a little cringy. I don't know. I forget the uh, Italian actor's name, but it was the first Dracula that had a speaking part. That is the guy who set the tone for Dracula. Like everyone who like does the slick back hair and like the accent and everything is because of him. And I think that's crazy how you can set a monster uh, like that and just generation after generation after generation, it takes over. Uh, so original Dracula is great. Clockwork Orange is another good one. Um, what else? Uh, are we... Ca- are we... Are we calling... Jo- no, Jaws isn't really horror. That's more... Of, yeah. Uh, borderline. Is it? I don't know. I, yeah, I call that more of a thriller. thriller. Like a thriller movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, Sinister. Sinister. The first one was crazy. The ones that scare me the most are like, uh, you know, Exorcism of Emily Rose. Um, and Con- oh. Conjuring. Conjuring was pretty scary. Then that kills me, dude. Conjuring will get me messed up any day of the week, and I don't get scared normally. I am not easily to. Uh, I'm not a person that gets scared easily, which is why I love going to, you know, uh, all like the scary maze places. Those are my favorite. Well, yeah, the thing about the Conjuring is, whenever I see a movie and it opens up with based on a true story, like it automatically just oh, like, I, everyone was automatically makes it like a hundred times scarier. Every time. I, I'm with I'm with you 100% on that one. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a crazy movie. Let's find some more questions. Hmm. A lot of questions. Hold on. So many go through. I have to pick out some, some of the best ones. Oh, what was your favorite scene to film on the black phone? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, Brady, you want to kick it off? Yeah. Uh, for me, personally, um, it'd have to be the uh, fight scene. Just because oh. my first, that was my first, you know, real stunt I've ever done. Uh, I don't know. And then when they pieced it together with uh, the music and everything, seeing it all come together, I think it was amazing. Oh yeah, the music and everything, like all that stuff coming together, like you didn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like picture that because I, I had a total, totally different perspective on the movie before, like exactly. I don't know. No, I'm so I would say the fight scene just because it was the uh, I got to work with people I knew. Uh, small world. One of the kids that I uh, fought with, uh, he actually lives like twenty five thirty minutes. Braxton does. Uh, so you know we hang out all the time, and then uh, Dash Derrickson's another good friend of mine. So yeah. It, it was. I think that was probably the uh, my favorite scene. But uh, I'd say the one that meant the most to me would probably be, you know, us all standing in the street. I think that was a pretty fun day outside of filming. Yeah, the rain. Then I also liked all the biking stuff because, like, like some of the shots were like strapped to like a golf cart, and I, like, all that. That was so cool. That was fun, uh, and everything in the basement, of course. So yeah, I'd say basement, bike, pretty much everything. Everything was awesome. Wow. Yeah, fight scenes and, like, stunts are always such a big one. Like, those are always the best because there's so much going on and there's, like, a lot of pressure, but it's 
if you use the pressure right, it kind of is like you use it as fuel. It's super cool. Exactly. No, I love stunts. That's what got me into them. Uh, I'm supposed to go back out to uh, right. for some more training because yeah. with Daniel because he, he's a, he's a. That's so cool. What about you, Will? What you like? Say like for in the tall grass. What was your favorite like thing to film? Mm. Uh. I think that my favorite scenes generally were the ones where we were actually in the grass. Um, I would say about a third of the scenes, we were all like in this field and it was like, it was the biggest field that I've ever seen in my life. And it was just full of this grass. It was like 10 feet tall. And, and you had to always be accompanied by like someone in a yellow vest because you like, we weren't allowed to go in and our, in our, on our own because like there was a guy boss yeah because it's crazy how how um how big how big the the lot of grass was and then we were we were just exposed to the elements it was hot we had to always be putting like this fake sweat on our face which like um, i'm always like I, i'm typically more of like a like a clean freak i always try and stay as clean as possible so like, having to like kind of like contain it and just like accepting like will you're covered in baby oil like it'll be fine like you can shower at the end of the day it's fine but honestly uh th th those are those are the best ones those are the best ones yeah i agree oh yeah no baby oil that's gotta yeah so i just did a commercial and they just put it on my arms to make me look sweaty i couldn't oh i think i would freak out if it was on my face yeah it uh, like I can't even think about it, and then they, and then do all the, like putting fake it, cuts. Obviously, what? Yeah, the dirt and the cuts and stuff. Yeah, like when I at my dirtiest point, it would take maybe like two and a half hours to get all ready and get all of my stuff on. Yeah, it, it was it was it was definitely a unique experience. Yes, I'd say the same for the black phone. That makeup took hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was that was pretty wild. I'm seeing a lot of like Stranger Things stuff. Does it, we all like things, right? I mm. I've watched the first three seasons, but I haven't watched the most recent one yet. I know it's, it's bad. Good. I know I need to watch it. I really need to catch up on my Stranger Things. Yes, you should. It's schoolwork. Schoolwork has just been has been crazy. What can I say? It's it's, it's back to school season. Mm. That's that's the big problem that I'm facing. Uh, question. Yeah. Oh wow, that is a big thing. So, um, one of the someone just asked, um, what does it feel like knowing that you have a lot of fans that are supporting you all throughout the world? Oh, yeah. For me, like I said before, I think it's surreal. You know, because uh just to me which is why if you guys ever see me in public or please come up and talk to me i love it uh you know that's what i told all my fans when i got to see them the other day um like yeah to me i am just a small town you know regular kid i just got lucky with um a couple things and got to do something that i love um you know i don't think i don't think of myself um you know highly uh, or higher than other people I try to stay humble, but um, knowing that we have people that support us around the world, which is insane, uh, you know, I'm just super appreciative for it. Yeah, I'd agree. With yeah, that. it's pretty. Yeah, I feel like it's just, it's really cool to feel like how you can make an impact on like people's lives, just just on the way that you can convey like your emotion or just like in, in scenes and movies and make people feel happy. Like for me, um, on bunk to like being able to make kids laugh, like maybe yeah. that, okay. like everybody always says la laughter is the best medicine. And honestly, I feel like that's the greatest gift of all, like being able to, to, to have an impact around the world to make kids feel happy. That's yeah. the biggest one for me. Yeah, I agree with that too. And I had no idea, like, like I said before, how this would like all like these edits and stuff like that, like, that we all keep seeing, like, oh my God. I was not expecting this, <laughs> so it's pretty surreal. It's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Let's see. Thank you guys for donating. Let's see. Yeah, we're almost at four hundred dollars. Great. All right. I know. I know this might you know change the mood a little bit, but uh, someone just asked, um, "Do we have someone in our?" Uh, well, that might be a little bit too personal. Do we know anyone that has cancer, and how has that affected us? Um. Actually, in in twenty twenty, right. Like right towards the beginning of COVID, end of 2019, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, seeing seeing my mom having to go through like these horrible treatments, chemotherapy, and and all, like medications, it's um, it's so rough. It, it really it's it's super hard to see someone that you care about and you love in that state of mind, and I I, I think that it's it's one of the worst feelings that that you can have. And I'm super grateful that my mom was able to to move past it. She she has been cancer free for a couple of years now, um, and I think that 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 the process of beating it is is super hard. But at the end of the day, that um, chemotherapy is just it saves your life a Dude, lot. Of time. Uh, first off, that's that's great news that you yeah. pushed through. I mean, geez, that's tough. And so are you. I mean. I can only imagine, you know, the emotional strain that that has on somebody, uh, seeing that close, especially like your mom, because not easy. And that's got to, yeah, that's got to be really tough. Yeah. So, hey, that's great news. Thank you, guys. Of course. Yeah, I, I feel like I always remember, while my mom was still going through all of that, I still had to film every day on set. So I, while my mom was back home, I kind of just had to power through it and... And it's just kind of what, what what you have to do if if it's something that you really love, you you have to make it work. Yeah, I mean, dude, that's that's great for you, man. I mean, honestly, that is a gift to be able to push through with all of that, knowing that's that's going on, and you have to ignore it for a certain amount of time, man. That is that's impressive. That hey, is impressive. Yeah, of course, hey. that's awesome. Yeah, and it feels great to help with St. Jude because you know. Uh, at the beginning of, beginning of 2020 as well, my Nana was actually diagnosed with cancer and she passed away uh, two years ago today, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that, that's why I'm super grateful to be helping with St. Jude. And I've loved raising money for them and helping, you know, kids our age with cancer because no one should have to live with cancer. It's horrible. And um, you guys are helping so much. So thank you. We're almost at $400, which is great. Yeah. Also... Yeah. Click the link in the bio for um, the page where you can also donate. So, yeah, thank you, guys. I'm so sorry to hear about your grandmother. Oh, that's no, all mm. good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, for me, um, you know, it's not strictly uh, immediate family. Um, but, uh, you know, growing up, I used to go to, you know, all these dinner parties with my mom and dad, you know, just like next door neighbors across the street, that kind of thing. So, you know, the people I was surrounded around the most, my uh, my parents, uh, their friends, you know, they kind of became, you know, like mom and dad figures to me. So, um, yeah, a couple of my really close uh, neighbors that I knew, they got diagnosed with, uh, I think one had like, you know, stage two, stage three uh, breast cancer. Um, so, he, you know, hearing that news, as you guys know, it's always, you know, it's it's really tough to hear and really understand because you don't know what it's like unless you're you know one you have it or two you're surrounded by it constantly so it was it was pretty hard to understand really what was going on at the time until you saw the effects of chemotherapy kicking in and all of that things and then uh seeing these people uh you know not give up and push through is really uh really motivating for me i think um so yeah uh one yeah. of my Especially, I can think of one especially. Uh, they used to live next to us for my entire life, really. They just recently moved. But she pushed through. She's great. Um, you know, we saw her at the mall the other day. So, you know, I had to go up and say hi to her. So, yeah, I mean. Right when you say you fights cancer because, like, that, they're strong. You know, that's. Exactly. Like, that is, a, that is you know, an out-of-world experience to have to go through that stuff. So, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's yeah, that's all I got. But wow, we are almost. Oh got... my gosh, we're almost at a thousand. What? <laughs> what? Hey, okay, thanks. <laughs> Donated. Wait, 
Wait. I'm wasn't it like yeah. four, you were just at like 390. Yeah. Wow. Oh like, my gosh. You so really whoever did that, we are so appreciative. Thank you so much, whoever that was. That's that's gosh. That's wild. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys. That's that's crazy. I don't I don't even know what to say. Oh, that's Right here. Um, you don't live in the U.S. So you would like to still donate? Yes, you can. Um, I believe that if you click on the uh, links in our bios, uh, that it should direct you to a page where you can still, uh, you can still donate outside of the country. Yeah. Yes. And also, you can donate on um, the Instagram platform too. Like you can donate on here. There's a link to. Go on. Look. Brooks's account, you can see in her um, bio, there's like a fundraiser thing. Yeah. Sweet. What's going on here? Are Brady's keys okay? Yes. Yes. They are fine. Um, Jacob, I don't know if I told you this and uh, for Will. Uh, so we went to Carowinds, which I'm not sure if uh, Will you know about Carowinds. It's a uh, it's an amusement park down here in uh, you know North and South Carolina. It's right on the border. Uh, short story: I wore zipper uh, zip up pockets so I could just you know zip up my pockets before I go on the ride. Wouldn't lose anything. Well, I forgot to on one ride, and we went upside down, and then my car key fell out of my pocket midday. So. I had to, you know, I had to wait outside the, I had to, I had to uh, tell security to let me in so I could go find them. So that was, that was, that was pretty uh, scary. But yeah, no, I got them guys. I'm back home. Losing your car keys is rough because you can't like replace them. Exactly. It's, like if you just get a new phone, but car keys. Exactly. I was like, if I lose my wallet, I can get new cards. If I lose my phone, whatever. Shoes, I don't care. I was like, I live an hour and 30 minutes away from here. I can't really afford to lose my car keys, so is yeah that was a that was a rough situation. But you know we got them back. We're fine. Yeah. Speaking of cars, I know Will, you're like a big car guy, right? Yes, I'm a big, 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 big car guy. Are you guys? What? What are you guys into cars? Okay, uh, I I used to, you know, back in my uh, what really got me into cars was I played Forza all the time. Yes, so, I love dude. They're like custom building cars, all that stuff. I was all about it. And yeah. I don't know. I think my Xbox just stopped working. So I don't know. I just kind of fell out of Forza. I mean, I still have it. I could still play it. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of fell out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Car car cars are great. Cars. I'm also really into Formula One, too. Mm hmm. Racing is super, super cool. Mm hmm. You guys in a Formula One? Do you guys keep up with Formula One? I'm trying to find people who are n not a lot of people in America are, are into Formula yeah. One. Yeah. So oh. I <laughs> I watch like the Red Bull Formula One because they they do stunts all the time. But yeah, I like, mean I've I've learned about the cars and like you know how the aerodynamics work so they can you know travel at the fast speeds while turning. But other than that, I mean I don't know. I don't sit down and you know watch the Daytona. That's just not for me. <laughs> yeah. No worries, no worries. Uh, I, 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 I only got into Formula One recently, but I always watch it every time I can, every Sunday morning. Because the thing is about Formula One is that it's always uh, around the globe, so you have to wake up at like 5 a.m. in Atlanta or like 7, 8 a.m. to like be able to watch the race on time. So it's... Yo, sorry to cut you off, Will. No, no. A thousand? Oh gosh, over a thousand already. Wait, Wait my oh. what? Wait, what? Is... I can't see. I can't see this. Yeah, we're at uh one uh one thousand one hundred seventy seven dollars and seventy eight cents. Yeah. thank you guys. We really appreciate it. I yeah. did not crazy. This wow. Month. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone that's saying hello to us. Oh my gosh. I know it's hard because I can't see all the comments because. The, there's so many things that are blocking and I always have to like swipe down. I get you, man. Instagram live has been acting up for me too. Like there's sometimes where like the comments just don't load on my screen. Yeah, no, after a while for me, I'd say like after like 20 minutes of being on one, it just always ends up 
failing. Yeah. But I went to grab my dinner and we were at 300. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. That is wild. Over a thousand? That is wild. I was not expecting that. Super impressive. All in such a short time frame. Exactly. That's that's the biggest thing. That is crazy. Okay, what was that question I saw? I saw a pretty good question here. Um Um, what up? Oh, man. What? What? Oh, yeah. By the way, thanks, guys. I looked up what Wattpad was the other day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what that was. And I just came across a whole bunch of, like, advanced, you know, fan stuff. And I was just like, oh, this is great. Yeah. I have not time on Wattpad, but I've heard about it a lot. It seems interesting. Well, every time I'm on Instagram Live, uh, everyone's asking me, like, do you know what Wattpad is? Look up Wattpad. I was like, all right. So <laughs> up one day. I remember this, actually. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's what Wattpad is. Interesting. I need to look it up more. I, 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 I'm not as tech savvy or modern savvy as I, as I think I am. I don't know all these cool apps, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it, it's um, if you have some free time, it'll definitely take it up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I... Father died. That's awful to hear. Oh, oh, geez. Go through because my comments are now no longer loading. Oh, I'll just. Another question that um we were getting asked a lot, um, and we can wrap it up here soon, but uh, another one that we were getting a lot earlier today was um, any, like, advice or tips you can give, like, like people who are starting out acting? Um, and I, I can start it off with, um, well, I'd say first, you know, the audition process, when you're up against thousands of kids for, you know, TV shows, movies, and, like, Disney and stuff like that, you're going up against so many people, so... Um, you just have to say, you know, you have to have a good mindset. And um, I think for like, when you get when you don't get a role, or you don't hear back, it's not, it does not mean that they didn't like you, like, you're planting seeds. And a lot of it, you know, is like, um, like, just like matching like characters and finding like what the what the cast, like, like, like looks wise, you know, what the what all matches is what I'm trying to say. And so like, you know, if you don't get a role, it's not like the end of the world. Um, you're like, you're planting seed and you're getting in front of casting directors so don't be down if you don't um uh land the role yeah yeah and like also again with the audition process be prepared for so many no's like you don't even you won't even know how to say no anymore yeah i think that i i i couldn't count how many auditions i've had total but it has to be north of like 500 probably more i don't even ha i couldn't even give you a close accurate guess of how many i've had but out of all of those there has probably been like 10 or 12 yeses so like around 490 no's and then just 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 for that just for those couple yeses and that's that's really how it works with um acting and you have to make make sure that you're really dedicated and you're willing to put the work into it because it, it's a lot of work learning how to how to act in general it's it's a it's a craft and it's a piece of art so mm -hmm. um for me without speaking on it too much because i could go on like a four hour teaching rant um for me where i started is um you know just like if you're learning anything in school learn your foundations learn your techniques learn your uh you don't have to use them when you perform but just so you have the knowledge, learn your checkoff technique, your Meisner technique, your method acting. Have all of that information in your head. Research, practice, 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 practice. Uh, and then start finding the things that work for you. Um, but I believe uh, just in this business, along with any other business, that knowledge is power. The more you know, the better off that you will be. Yeah, so true. Yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. 
that was that was really great. I think maybe let's do a let's let's do a couple more questions and then yeah yeah go from there yeah. yeah. Not sure like, it's hard because a lot of the questions are like the same but like repeated so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it can be tricky to sort out the fake ones from the. Um. Have you ever had a thought about making your own movie? Yeah, for sure. Like I was saying before, like when I was giving example of Adam Sandler and like Mark Wahlberg, um, having their own style and like how they own, like they basically like they like that their movie is like their movie. Um, so I'd say like Happy Madison Productions, like that that would be like a dream to start a production company and have my own like movies like that I like that I star in and stuff. I think that would be like a dream come true. So that's the goal. One day, maybe we'll see. Yeah. That would that would be really cool. I think I, I I'm I'm really interested in like writing as well. Uh my brain is always constantly flowing with ideas and I try my best to always kinda track them down and things like that. But learning about like history and then like kind of turning those into stories and, and movies is just something that I'm really interested in because I'm, I'm really into history, <laughs> a little history nerd, but I mean, great. Interesting. Um, Oh yeah, that was the question. Um, I have thought about it. Um, right now I am, uh, taking, uh, like college level, uh, writing classes, trying to figure out, you know, how to write a uh, pretty solid story. Um, right now, I'm working on a, I'm working on a book that has not been uh, turned into a movie yet. That I think is a, uh, that has good opportunity. So, I'm working on like a small screenplay of that. And once I get that figured out, I'll see if I can pitch it to something small. I don't have to star in it, but I mean, as long as I can create a small screenplay or script that's stage one i'll send that off to anybody but yeah a long and slow process but we'll get there yeah it is a long process but it's it's super rewarding in the end mm -hmm. i saw one down here uh and thank you all for the compliments everybody i really appreciate that What made me realize that cancer is ruin, uh, ruining a lot of families' lives? Um, I don't. I would say that it was so much a realization as as far as much as we see it, um, almost every day. Whether it's a um, you know a commercial on the TV, or if it's mm -hmm. a, a ad that you'll see on the uh, side of like a, a website that you're on, um, or personal experiences uh, day by day. Um, it's just now uh, we have this platform where, uh, you know, we can give out our voice and uh, ask for help from you guys who will all make this possible. And uh, now that we have this voice, now that we have this following, uh, we realize that we can make a change and uh, we can uh, set up these fundraisers and send these donations off to people like St. Jude and you know, hope that we can make someone's life better. So. Yeah, I think um, seeing it, like, in your family, like, realizing like, this is, like, real, like, this is something that's um, not a joke. So, I'd, yeah, I'd say that's where, like, making this fundraiser happen is just, it's super amazing. Like, for you, all you guys donating, thank you so much. It means a lot. Yeah, it, 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 exactly what, what Jacob said. It's, it's really similar um, because when you see it for your own eyes and you see it happen to someone that you care about so much – that's when that's when it really clicks and you're like wow this is this is happening to people every single day all around the world and it's just what made me so passionate about wanting to help kids yeah for sure um all right i feel like we got a we got a good bunch of questions yeah i think that was great yeah all right, guys. Perfect. Um, I don't know. I mean, do we? Uh, what do you guys want to do from here? What's going on? Um, let's see. I don't know if you have a little plan, but I'm cool with whatever. I yeah.
meeting everybody. It's been super great to to yeah. talk to all of the fans, raise all of this money for everybody. I'm I'm super 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 happy with the result, and yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, of course, Will. Thank you for joining. Thanks for joining, man. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys soon. All right. See you, Will. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See ya. All right, guys. Um, so, <laughs> so, questions. Big, big announcement. Um, I know you guys have been asking me, Jacob. Um, it's been all over the uh, recent TikToks that we've been making. Um, October 15th, I think it is. Um, my fall break on a Saturday. Uh, Saturday night, October 15th. Jacob, Tristan, and I will be at Universal all day, and then we will also be at Halloween Horror Nights. So, if yeah. you plan on going, or if you are, if you plan on going, if or if you have already planned on going, uh, we'll be walking around the park the entire day, uh, taking pictures with fans, um, you know, touring around the place, because I've never been to Universal before, so I'm very excited. So, if you're there, if you see us, please feel free to come up to us take pictures with us we would love that more than anything and yeah i'm finally i'm excited to finally announce that because it's been a while since uh you know i was able to talk about this yeah people are asking which universal it's um it's the one orlando florida we could not make it out to the uh to the la one but that'd be cool but sometimes you got to improvise and that's all right yeah, yeah, so we're super excited about that, October 15th. Um, hope, hopefully we'll see you guys there if um, you'll be there. And we're super excited, so make sure to, make sure to show up. Absolutely. Can't wait to see you guys. Um, yeah. You about to head off? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, you, guys, let's, yeah, let's close it out. Go for it. Yeah, I know. I'm saying um, thank you guys, everyone who donated. We really appreciate it. I did not expect to get over $1,000, and you guys did it, so – Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, feel free. Anyone in my bio is the link for um, my page. If you still, if you couldn't donate on live and on Lily Brooks's account, you can um, see she has the fundraiser in there if you want to do it through Instagram. But um, yeah, we really appreciate it. Uh, Brady, thanks for coming along. Of course. Thanks for having me, Jacob. Yeah, for sure. All righty. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for donating very much for this very important cause. Um, I'll try to get back on live. Uh, more recent. I know I have taken a pretty big break from that, but I'll see what I can do. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. 100%. Yeah. All right. See you, Jacob. All right. See you, Brady. Thank you, guys.